Hi, this is Andy Doctor. Today, I am going to show you how to properly diagnose and fix the P2024, P2025, or P2026 issue on a gasoline engine car, especially one made by Volkswagen Group, for example, Volkswagen, Audi, some Porsche, and some Lamborghini. Okay. It took me quite a while to figure that out, almost a month, but I fixed that about five months ago. Um, on the car, the location is pretty awkward. That's why I decided to do it outside the car and show you the major part. And then we will go to the car to look at the location and the part installed on the car. Now, first of all, you may ask, hey, looks like you have the part outside the car. What happened? Well, I have to be honest with you. I did not diagnose the problem correctly. I thought this part was broken, so I spent the money buying the part and I somehow damaged the harness a little bit. I also bought an aftermarket harness, but it turned out not the problem. So that's why I have this extra one out here. So hopefully my video is helpful for you. You don't need to spend the money like I did. If that is the case, Please make sure you like this video or even better, subscribe to my channel. Now, of course, I bought a used part for something like $15. The harness is something like 5 so I did not waste too much. But a new one could be something like $100, as a matter of fact. Tell you the truth, this is actually the original part coming with my car. Okay, uh, Now the one on the car is the one I bought, a used part. Okay, uh, Even though the harness and the part don't stay together really well, I tape it with electrical tape and it works really well, so I, I hate to redo it. That's why I have both out here. So the code is about the EVAT system, uh, specifically is the temperature sensor. And yes, this is the so-called temperature sensor module. Um, P2024 is circuit disconnected, meaning somewhere the wires don't touch each other. 2025 is low performance and 2026 is low voltage. The first thing you want to do, please do not buy the sensor, is that you want to disconnect the two and the way you do it is just, there's a tap out here, slide it out and press on it and then you can pull it out, okay? Uh, check the voltage of the power wire. Uh, when the harness is in this direction, when you can see this tab, it is the second to the left. But on at least the Audi Q7, this wire is red white stripe. It's not blue color. Again, this is a aftermarket one. Okay. So anyway, it is this wire, but it's not the same color as this. You will see it. Uh, with a picture uh, I put inside the video, so the, the real one on Audi Q7. And in other words, it's this uh, connector. You want a multimeter, do it to DC volts, okay? And then put your leads here, and then put the other lead somewhere on a metal part of the car to check for voltage. If it is 2024, you should see zero volts. 2026 though, it will be something significantly lower than uh, 12 volts. And then 2025, it's kind of intermediate issue actually. It's probably also quite a lot lower than 12, but it's maybe higher than what will happen for 2026, something like six or seven. That's why the performance is low. Okay, so check the voltage. Um, on the Audi Q7, the voltage is constant. You don't even need to turn on the engine, but just in case, if you have a different car, uh, running the engine may not be a bad idea, and then check the voltage. If you don't see the right voltage, somewhere the wire is broken. Of course, technically, it could mean that the connection between the two is broken, Okay, very unlikely, but it's possible. In that case, you may have to replace the temperature sensor, the harness, or maybe both. And if you do need to do that, I actually put link in the description to Amazon for you to buy 
uh, either one of them or both, but very, very unlikely. Now, electrical issue is always a nightmare, okay? Especially a, a difficult part, you could not even see it. Honestly tell you, the way I found out that the wire was broken was by feeling with my finger, and because when the wire broken, some metal part tend to penetrate out of the insulation, so it pulled my finger, and I found it, my eyes could not see it, by the way. Uh, later on, up to I know where it is, then it's not too difficult to see. I actually have a picture for you, and it will be in this video. Another suggestion for you, though, is that if you see something like 2025 or 2026, just wait. It should become 2024 in a week or maybe a month, unless you have inspections due. Nothing wrong to, to wait, honestly tell you. There's no drawability issue. The car runs perfectly fine. It's just an annoying check engine light uh, and maybe a little bit worse in terms of pollution, not so good for environment, but that's all, okay? Anyhow, uh, this is what I want to show you outside the car, and we will go to the car and see the location. Okay, so let's go to the car. The temperature sensor module is installed on the side of the gas tank. So that's why right now we are right in front of the rear passenger wheel, and you need to take this panel out. Uh, the sensor is actually right on top of this location. Um, for the Q7 at least, you don't need to jack up the car, but if you have a sedan, then you probably have to do that. And to take out this panel is rather easy. Um, there are nuts out here. So this is one of the nuts. This is another nut that you need to do. And then some T25 bolts that you want to take out all the way, uh, about 10 of them. It's difficult to take video when I removing them, so I'm just going to tell you, and then uh, I will show you when it drops down. Uh, there is a plastic insert here, this one. You don't need to uh, take that one out. We just let the panel drop down and then stay with that one, and you see some more P25 nuts over there. Okay, I lied. It's only six T25 and two 10 millimeter, and the panel can drop down and you see here is the temperature sensing module with the back connector I told you earlier that's why I, I use electrical tape to hold them together and this is the gas tank okay um, and this wire connected to the harness run all the way to the top of this location okay and the broken part on my case was right inside. The fix was, of course, cut the wire entirely and resolder them together. Something rather easy and I believe everybody can do. Uh, the reason I believe is that that wire is connected to a different harness out there, have too much vibrations. And because of that, there was uh, metal fatigue and that's why it broke. And because of that, I zip tie the wire to the front of the car so hopefully less vibration out there uh, so yep that was the fix it's not the uh, temperature sensing module or anything like that um, definitely please do not buy this one as your first step okay it could be broken but don't do it us yet. Check the wire I know it's difficult but check the wires if the voltage is not right and then fix that instead of buying this. The worst thing you do when you DIY is you buy part and install part when you do not know for sure that it is broken. I admit I sometimes do that, for example, this one, but uh, try not to do that. I saw some people on Reddit actually replacing quite a lot of part in the EVA system Spain a few hundred, close to a thousand dollars, I believe, on it and fix nothing. Please, please don't do that. And hopefully you can learn something useful from me. I also have a video, I almost forget, showing you how the wire coming from here at that time, the harness dropped down and showing the wire leading all the way to, to that. So that should give you a better idea where the broken part is on my case. 
But anyhow, this is all for today's video. And hopefully this is helpful for you. If so, again, I hope that you can like this video or even better, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you. Bye-bye.